Everything I'm about to say, you already know it to be true. You are a slave. You are a slave to money, to social economics, to status, to politics, to ideology. You have sold your soul to have a place in a world order that you should naturally oppose. So what's wrong with this picture? This picture that you see flashed up on my board right now on my, on my screen. What's wrong with this picture? One of the channel subscribers and participants, Brother JJ, you know, he's a, he's a real dedicated subscriber and participant, you know what I'm saying? He's always here, always commenting. Uh, he sent me this link a few days ago and I just wasn't sure if I was gonna talk about it because y'all know my stance on a lot of this stuff is a bit different. So I try to put myself in the mindset of others to try to see what's really wrong with this. And as I read the article that he linked to me, I see Dr. Umar Johnson's name popping up and his stance against interracial relationship. He's so anti-interracial with interracial marriage, you know what I'm saying, all this stuff. He just did this sham marriage with two women. Polygyny is very common, people, but that thing that Umar did was a sham. But anyway, he's so anti-interracial marriage, right? So his name keep popping up in the article and everything. But here's the thing I thought about. First of all, let me say this here. This whole thing of this notion that rich black men always go get non-black women is just a lie. It's, it's just a lie, man. The percentage or ratio of rich black men with non-black women is no higher than the percentage or ratio of poor black men with non-black women. It's just a myth. What you have over here is just a, a, a reality of the of the society that we live in, right? The way men date, you know what I'm saying? What we have here is the way women are choosing men. It has nothing to do with income. That's just a smoke screen to try to belittle these men. But the crazy thing is that, you know, you can't win with this topic. If you broke and you got a non-black woman, then the woman just want a no good pookie and raving. If you're doing okay, you're in the middle somewhere and you get a non-black woman, then you're just a sellout. You know, you just want to be white. You know what I'm saying? If you're rich and you get a non-black woman, then you know you just, uh, you, you're a sucker for the white woman. You know what I'm saying? White woman is using you for money. She only wanted you because you're rich. You can't win with these kinds of people. Anywhere you go, they have an argument against you. Like I said, if you're broke, then the white woman wanted a slave. She wanted a dude, she could walk all over. A no, no good pookie, a Ray Ray, you know what I'm saying? If you're in the middle, you know, your middle class brother with a white woman, oh, you just a house nigga. You just a coon. You you know, you just a sellout, you know what I'm saying? Which a lot of times that actually be true. Now if you're rich and you get a white woman, you know what I'm saying? Then it's, it's you know, or the white woman is using you. You know, you made a few dollars and now you want to go sambo and buy the white, white woman everything. You know, you, you, you can't win with these dudes. But the truth of the matter is that the percentage or ratio of rich black men marrying and marrying non-black women, it's, it's no higher than the percentage of poor black men doing the same thing or middle class black men doing the same thing. It's, it's, it's no higher. It's, it's the same across the board. So that means that the reasoning behind it has nothing to do with any of the smoke screen or gaslighting reasons that people like Dr. Umar Johnson gives. It has nothing to do with it. It has nothing to do with economics. It has nothing to do with being used or being a sellout or being a coon, or not being black no more. Got nothing to do with none of that. The reasons are simple. Women choose. A man can only date and marry the women that choose to date and marry him. And out of that pool, he can choose one from that pool. He can choose whichever one he think is the better one. Now, when Serena Williams pretended like she exercised such an option, y'all was fine with that, but although she lied through her teeth. She told a bold-faced lie because women choose. It wasn't that that white boy was the best out the option she had. That white boy was the one she wanted. She chose him. He was the one she wanted. He wasn't the best out of the options. He was the one she wanted. But on the reverse side, a brother might have an option of women. He, trust me, man, 
with the way divorces are, the, the money tied into these men, do you honestly believe these men are gonna marry, uh, 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 just haphazardly marry a woman, knowing that there's a strong chance he's gonna end up in divorce court tomorrow or, or down the line, she's gonna take him to the cleaners, you know what I'm saying? Do you think that they're gonna just haphazardly marry some chick based off her skin color in that situation? No, they're gonna take the, 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 the the, the woman that, that that presents the least amount of risk. That's what it is. The woman that 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 looks, everything gotta be in high marks. She looks good, she's attractive, she got a uh, great character, and she, and she presents the least amount of risk for me. That's the safest bet. That's the one they're gonna marry. So what you see these dudes with is actually the safest bet. This is, the, they are with the woman that they believe was the safest bet. I mean, that's what it was. That that's what it is. But they all they still chose these women out of the women that chose them. Like the women that chose them, they picked these women out of the women that chose them. So you gotta also ask yourself, how many black women were even interested in these brothers? How many black women can these brothers even get along with? How many black women do these brothers even vibe with? Y'all don't understand, man. A lot changes as you as, as you elevate through life, bro. You don't just become disconnected with sisters. You become disconnected somewhere with black people in general. I mean, listen, I, I, I'm, I'm, I love my people, but I, you know, but unlike y'all, I respect the differences in people. I respect the nuances in people. You know what I'm saying? That they don't bother me. But let me be honest, man. If I was to get around a group of blacks right now, I would probably have very little outside of the actual growing up part, you know what I'm saying, that, that part of it, I would have very little in common with them as an adult. Because as an adult, you know, you tend to go your own way. You say you don't smoke weed or something, they look at you like you're crazy. You say you don't drink, they look at you like you're crazy. You know what I'm saying? You don't like this funky music they play, they look at you like you're crazy. You play your music, you play some, you know, some, 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 some classical, contemporary music, some, some, uh, a symphony, you know what I'm saying? You, 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 you play some, some, some neo soul, you know, they like neo soul, but they don't like the popular artists. You play something that they're not familiar with, or some reggae they're not familiar with, or some soft rock they're not familiar with. They look at you like you're crazy. You know, they want to go talk, you know, talk about going to some, some young rapper's concert. You be like, man, I, I, I don't do that there, man. But you don't gonna go to concerts? Yeah, man, you know, the last concert we called was Sarah Brightman. They looking like, Sarah who? Who is Sarah Brightman? So, you know, the, the truth of the matter is, as you start elevating, man, you become disconnected with us, man. We are not as diverse as we once was as a people. You know, we are very, very, very close-minded now. You know what I'm saying? We have dug ourselves into a, a hole and all we want to do is sit there and hate on anybody that don't want to be in that hole with us. And I'm talking about a hole spiritually. I'm talking about emotionally. I'm talking about uh, idealistically. You know what I'm saying? We have dug ourselves into a, a big old hole and all we want to do is stay there now. And it's crazy. We, we show no love towards each other, but we don't want we don't want each other to find love elsewhere. It's, it's, it's silly, man, you know what I'm saying? I I personally can't deal with that, you know? So when I look at this this, this picture from the Knicks, from the New York Knicks, I don't see anything wrong. I just see these are the women that chose, and these are women he selected from all the women that chose, and the women that chose him, most of them probably look just like these women. These are the safest bets they felt they had out of the women that was choosing them. But you see, this white boy got a black chick. Nobody said nothing about that. Nobody gonna have a problem with that. You know what I'm saying? You know, and, and I understand why brothers do what they do. So I don't see anything wrong with the picture personally. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I'm, again, I'm not, I'm not trying to dump on my sisters. You know what I'm saying? I just don't see nothing wrong with the picture. You, a man can only date and marry the women that want to date and marry him. Outside of that, he picks from those women. You know, he gonna pick the safest bet. He gonna pick the one that he feels the most comfortable with. Again, stop trying to make it like he just a sucker for white women. Man is not gonna willy nilly just marry no white woman. Stop doing the brothers that. They are not gonna just willy nilly marry no white girl, man, just cause you white. I'm dudes don't even think that way, bro. You know, stop, just stop doing that, man. You know what I'm saying? Nobody got no white girl fetish, bro. Uh, 
I don't see nothing wrong with the Knicks video, the Knicks picture. I don't see nothing wrong with all the dudes, you know, having white women except for the, the white ball with the black chick. I don't see anything wrong with that one either. You know what I'm saying? You, 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 yeah, man, you like what you like, you date what you date, you marry what you marry. You know what I'm saying? I don't care. But people like Umar Johnson should not be telling y'all who y'all should marry because that buster dude, no woman don't want him. No woman don't want him. If a woman wanted him, he'd have been married too. Long time ago. He'd been running around talking all this stuff about marriage all these years. That's probably why they did that. Because he always talking about marriage, but he's not married. You know, people probably like, you know, damn, but you always talking about marriage, but you against, but you're not married. So he go do the sham marriage, you know? Don't fall for the okie doke people. Don't fall for the okie doke. Anyway, I'm out of here. Like the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel. Till next time, I'm out of here. I'm Brother Kush, AKA the Black Alpha. So long.